it's a very um, difficult biomarker uh, to to really um, to to use uh, in every circumstance. And so we may find that it's useful for certain kinds of cancers and maybe not so useful um, for others. This is still a story in evolution. But in the meantime, we have additional biomarkers uh, such as genetic biomarkers, uh, the MSI testing that we've heard about in colon cancer and some other kinds of cancers, uh, where patients uh, who have the so-called MSI high result, um, their tumors uh, harbor many mutations and they're more likely to respond to anti-PD-1 therapy. Um, there's also an emerging area of virus-associated cancers. So you may know that about 20% or more of all cancers worldwide are associated with viruses. And these viruses um, are, are very strongly seen by the immune system because they're completely foreign to the immune system. So now uh, one major question is whether viruses in tumors can provide a biomarker of tumors that are more likely to respond to anti-PD-1 therapy. So the, these are things that are on the horizon.